Hi guys, you ain't heard from in a while. Still got the old GSX 1100G Suzuki. Uh, it's ran mostly. I think the last video I posted on it was, oh gosh, 10 or 11 years ago. It ran fine for the next two or three years after that, and then the rust in the gas tank got a hold of it, and I've really had a fit with it ever since then. I uh, started three or four years ago soaking the gas tank with the finest stuff money can buy. Four buckets of Kim Dip, you can see in the corner. Uh, four gallons of uh, CB CRC rust remover, which was $30 a gallon. The Kim Dip was $40 a gallon. And for the last couple of years, I have done nothing but soak this tank. And you literally, you would have had to been here with me to believe what had come out of it. Here is some of the sealant where they tried to seal the tank before I bought it, before I bought the bike. Um, what it done, it soaked for so long, I let it soak for so long, it come out in sheets. The sealer come out just like sandpaper. You could see the rust that it had trapped in between the sealer and the gas tank, and that's what was causing the problem. While you were going down the road, the sealer inside was letting go peeling loose slowly and that was releasing more rust into the gas tank which was causing the carburetor to stop up okay um this past summer i rebuilt the carburetor zone and it's run like a singer sewing machine ever since then but that's after two years of soaking the gas tank which i think i finally got it cleaned out but i'm still not willing to risk it so after i ride it Say, for example, if I go for a ride over right now, 40 or 50 miles, come back uh, about a half a mile from the house, I reach, turn the fuel off to where it will get the fuel in the bowls as low as possible. Then, when I get back here to the shop, I connect to a fresh gallon bucket of gasoline that's got uh, spray carburetor cleaner in it, the real strong kind, with its own fuel pump. Come right over to here. T into the carburetors down here with the T that I installed with the gas still off here. Now it's not feeding off the tank no more. And a T in here with fresh gasoline. Now it's rained the last three or four days. And uh, this bike can't been cranked in three or four days. All right, I just connected the electric fuel pump here. You can feel it. You can hear it pumping up. Remember, gas is off at the tank, so it's being fed strictly off that fresh gallon of. A uh, gallon, a uh, two and a half gallon jug of gasoline, which we know there's not no rust in it. We know that. And been cranked in three or four days. Let's see if it will. And I'm not going to use no choke, no choke at all. See that? Cranked right up. You don't even have to choke it. Look, it'll already idle. I'm telling you, them carburetors are as true right now as they were the day this bike rolled off the showroom floor. Got me a little uh, cruise control here with a hairball. Need a little bit of fuel. And let's get a little bit more. And we let the clutch go. I don't like for it to be engaged. This bike has not been cranked in four days, and you've seen it crank right up. No choke. And it'll do that plum to the weather gets down to about 50 degrees it'll do that maybe even colder than that you know when i first bought this bike it had 4,000 miles on it and now it's got 17,000. so i have put some miles on it since i've had it i've just uh since last summer i've finally ridden it enough to need an oil change so i just got through changing the oil and i'll tell you what i love this bike to death but I'm still not going to risk there still not being some rust trapped in this tank that I couldn't get out even after two years of soaking it. So like I say, come in, pump it out every day, pump it fresh. I call it feeding it intravenously. That is treated fresh gasoline with carburetor cleaner in it. So you know when it goes into the carburetors, it's going to clean out any rust that came from the tank. And also under the side cover here, I've got a $40 fuel filter, one of the very best made. So I'm doing everything in my power to keep from having to take these carburetors back off again because that is a very hard job. 
hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to make you a video ride in here in just a day or two. And here's my little logo that I really love. Let's look at and Buddy, it is capable of evading high-speed pursuit. It's the quickest 100 horsepower you'll ever set on to be such a heavy bike. And there's still a lot of these bikes out here. If you get on YouTube, you can find them. And this bike's not cosmetically pretty and by no stretch of any imagination. But it has no oil leaks anywhere. It's still low mileage. And everything on it works. <coughs> Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this, okay? We'll make another video.